Hey Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Good to be here about the handover dinner you know, without the crease. <laughs> I'll tell you oh, what, I've got it? my passport on me. This is Candy. And I've got you again. <laughs> Tell you what, you notice it's the nudist guys now. <laughs> <laughs>
to guests, respected guests, if we have many left here, I would say thank you very much for your support and participation. Rotary Club needs you and the public support. We just cannot operate without your support, and the public is not very well informed. As Rotarians, we are volunteers working for the charity. Every penny that we raise, we use it for charity. That is donated to the charity. We pay for all our expenses, including meals, things, etc. We do not take the wage. We donate to many local charities, to national charities. We have an international committee. We raise funds with the international committee, and that fund is donated to the international organization. Apart from that, we always contribute to national and international disasters. The public needs to be informed. The public doesn't really know very much, and I'll give you an example. Dennis Bag has left. He was at the Queen's Hospital for the bottle scheme, and a young lady came to him and said, you do all this, so who are you? He said, we are in charge of Abnis Rotary Club, but oh yes, you are the rich people having dinner and party. <laughs> and then he said, in fact, we light our cigarettes at the 10 pound note each time. <laughs> then he explained, explained it to them, see, so that's, that's uh, we need to pass the message on to the public. It is necessary. Lastly, some of you have asked me why my wife isn't here. If I could answer that question, I would be a very rich man. <laughs> if you just bear up with me, a man was working in the garden. Let me just take a bit of And suddenly, he hit something with his spade. He picked it up and touched it, and a genie appeared. And the genie said, Master, I grant you one wish. And the man said, I am Irish. If you want to name him Terry Smith, I have no objection. <laughs> Terry said to the genie that I am Irish, what I would like, I'd like a bridge across the Irish Sea from Holyhead to Dublin. And to make it stable, I want a strong pillar every 100 meters. The genie said, Master, Irish Sea is a very rough sea. This pillar of 100 meters is going to be very difficult. Could you please ask for another wish? And he said, Yes, I can. He said, I want the ability to be able to read women's mind. And the genie said, Master, can you go back to the bridge? <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. If I could read women's mind, before I exit through that door, all my men will make a run for me to make an appointment to bring their wives to consultation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming. I have had a hell of a time tonight, and I hope you did too. Yeah. And uh, probably I should thank the man who made it all possible, Norman Allenby. Yeah. To the silent worker behind the scene, Jeff and George and Brian and uh, Jerry and Janet. Thank you very much, and all the members. All the members support. Thank you all very much. We have some new members who have been very lucky, and some of the member, new members have been very active, I must mention. Henry Bennett has kindly accepted the post of Speaker Secretary. And I also know Gillian Ford has been very active. She was very active during Christmas month for fundraising, and she continues to be very active. Thank you very much for your support to the club. We also Mustn't forget to thank the management of the Upminster Golf Club yes. for having us tonight. Yes. We should also thank the angels who have been very caring and looking after us all evening. <laughs> and we thank you back, we'll be back. Thank you very much. That's what I am. Yeah. It's going to be a difficult year this year. <laughs> <laughs> every, year this every year, we do in fact um, present the uh, yeah, of the year, which is uh, this year. Um, before he went, um, <coughs> our pres previous president did in fact nominate a Rotarian for this award, and in doing so, he asked us to uh, present that tonight on his behalf. <laughs> <laughs>
I know, just as an aside, Jakob did speak to me before he went off, as you know, he's attending um, a, a very formal occasion for the visit of the Aga Khan to this country, and uh, he tells me he joined the Aga Khan and 18,000 other people <laughs> at, uh, <laughs> at a reception at 7 o'clock this morning for breakfast. Uh, lunch was provided and they were having a formal dinner in the evening, so he couldn't really get here. And I, <laughs> I, I accepted that. <laughs> Why not? But nevertheless, he left with uh, I a note here which says that uh, as far as the Rotarian year is concerned, he would like to present the award on behalf, on his behalf, um, as he's outgoing president, who unfortunately cannot be the city. <coughs> in presenting, presented in recognition of all the hard work he puts in helping to organise the annual British fete uh, and for running the shop, clothing and regalia. All the above he carries out quietly and efficiently in his own unassuming way and his dedication to these tasks is much appreciated by the club. The person this year awarded the going to is Ray Hare. Now this is a photo, okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not a video camera. All right, whatever. whatever. No, not, okay, so so where you can say whatever you like at the moment. Yeah. It won't be recorded, whatever, okay? Yeah, whatever you say, we take it down and give us an evidence. Here we have our junior vice president. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Terry Spade. Wonderful. In five, year, in five years' time. In a year or so, time will be recorded. Yes. You will be the last time. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Magnificent, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> right, there you go.